Hey y'all, Steve from Guitar Niche here. Well, this little, this is going to be a little explainer. <clears throat> Two, three, one. Hey all, Steve from Guitar Niche here. The name of the game here is Can You Intonate an Acoustic? Well, the answer is surprisingly yes and no. <laughs> Let me explain. A lot of times I get um, uh, in instruments coming in and, you know, the customer will say, yeah, I just, you know, like uh, set it up, clean it, clean it, clean it up, uh, set the intonation and all that stuff on an acoustic. And I go, well, I can't really do that without special equipment, etc. Et I don't go into all the spiel, but I have to explain to them that a standard acoustic su such as this lovely uh, Seagull Entourage Rustic is uh, what's called fixed intonation. In other words, um, this is not adjustable, but it is. So here I am contradicting myself again. Isn't that wonderful? Anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll try to go through this as concisely as I can. Uh, for the vast majority of, of instruments say a few decades ago, this piece here would have been a solid, um, uh, just a, a, a solid line. Like no, what's called intonation points on or non-compensated, uh, this, because this is a compensated saddle. The reason I explain this is that, um, you know, gu guitars and refinement of instruments is constantly evolving and we're finding ways to make things better and and uh, and and uh, more dependable and more accurate all the time. An acoustic is is no different. Uh, but the question of intonating this. Well, I was asked maybe uh, twenty five years ago um, by a, a good customer. He says, uh, "Can you intonate my acoustic?" I said, "I thought about it." And I go, "Yeah, there's there's ways." And my first attempt. Uh, which was pretty successful, was you know, at face value, you would never see any real difference other than the diameter of the strings that I used. So the process was I took a standard set of strings and I measured the intonation using sensitive equipment, etc. And then using a chart uh, that I had, I was able to predict within a certain amount of uh, accuracy uh, to select a, a string gauge that was a percent more or less, that is, say, uh, take the uh, uh, standard you know, G string uh, light set would be 24 or so, and go either a 23 or a 25 or a 22 or a 26. And by changing the gauge of the string, you're changing how the string moves or reacts on the instrument. You're literally changing the intonation length Depend, it, which is dependent on the tension of the string and the overall string length. So that in combination with, compen, with, with a compensated saddle, which is in itself, a, like as I said, a massive improvement, I was able to get the guitar pretty, pretty well intonated. Uh, and it really wasn't that far off from, from the get-go. But the, the, you know, the person was very particular, he was very precise, he wanted it just so, and that's fine. The problem after the fact is he had to keep uh, you know, going for the same exact same gauge uh, and couldn't, you know, modify his tuning all that much. So there's a, a drawback to that. Now, having said that, these saddles, even though they're like an eighth of an inch wide on average, plus minus, depending on the manufacturer, they can be tweaked to be more accurate using, you know, your standard 12th fret reference points and a, a good, you know, very accurate tuner, stuff like that. But I'm addressing the average well-made instrument here. Out of the box, compensated saddle. This is, you know, pretty, it's pretty accurate, as is. It's designed to have a, a fixed scale length, a certain scale length for the, for the, the fretboard, the fret positions, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, and they tend to be pretty accurate. But if you really want to go that extra different or distance, you're going to have to take a lot of care and have a lot of patience and be able to measure where you are and where you want to be. Finally, maybe a couple more points here before I wrap it up. There is, uh, there are devices that, um, you know, extend 
the footing for for uh, uh, for the saddle. There's uh, uh, Stumac has a pro product called the Intonator, which is a rather large um, intonatable uh, metal unit which fits fits to the. It's a retrofit for for your standard acoustic guitar, but you know visually it's not very clean. That's really my only complaint. It's not clean, you know. And a lot of these uh, uh, um, different methods of finely intonating things cannot, they, they, they don't necessarily look appealing. So we have to marry our senses, like of the visual, which, I mean, guitars are like, they're, they're beautiful things. But we also want them to play well. We want them to sound, you know, as good as we can possibly get them to sound. So anyway, uh, back to the original question. Can you intonate an acoustic? Technically, yes. Effectively, yes. Practically, you're going to have to work at it. Okay, simple as that. You might even find that, you know, just changing, changing your, your, your gauge from, from one to the next may give you a better intonation if, you're, if you sense your intonation is off. Having said that, many times just changing your strings in general will solve many intonation is, uh, issues. Anyway, lots more to say on that. I mean, it's a really big black hole of... Uh, of um, you know physics and stuff and frequencies and how how sound works etc i'm not going to get into that this is for just an explainer uh and i'll stop rambling now anyway like and subscribe uh read the, the description below lots of great resources down there hope you got something out of this okay i know it's a, it's a long-winded you know maybe statement but uh you know there's there's uh it's what i have to say anyway as always play loud have fun have a great day Cheers.